Hi friends, it's Andrea with Journals for Life, and I am here to show you my um, December journaling setup. I'm really excited about this. I am going to use all of the things, and I'm going to show you what I'll be using. All of these things are in the shop, so they're available for purchase. If you're watching this video, they're available for purchase now. And so let me show you what I've got. And I'm also going to be doing a bunch of tutorials um, in Christmas. I may start out with like 10, the first 10 days and maybe do the first 10 days of Christmas. I'm not really sure yet. That's coming up, but I'm gonna be using all of these things and I will be using this album. So I made this album. And let me show you what it looks like uncovered. So these chipboard folios are in the shop. Um, they're a really inexpensive way to store a bunch of notebooks. And this one had like a little boo-boo. So I um, am using it to cover. Uh, when I unpacked it, I was just a little rough. So anyway, I grabbed it out. I'm going to use this one to cover. It's a perfect candidate for that. Um, this light chipboard folio. I used a napkin. I've never done that before. I've seen people use napkins and rice paper. And so I was super excited that that worked out. Um, and that's what I'll be using. Okay, so I bought this wine charm. I went to a crop a month or so ago and this wine bottle charm was so cute. Um, the lady took out a couple beads for, so that it would fit on my album. And you may recall my fall album. I had the same thing. So here's my fall album. Got a cute little woodstock. So I bought two. I just thought they were cute. I'm always looking for something different. I'll use keychains or charms where I travel. I didn't travel in November, December. So I just thought this was a really cute way to support a local business and to have something interesting on my notebook. So that's what I have here. So I'm thinking that I want to do kind of like a country Christmas album. I'm kind of a country girl at heart. Um, I know that's not everybody's style. So you can do modern, you know, traditional, you do you. But I think I'm going to do a little bit of modern and a little bit of farmhouse in this one. So I do like the black and white um, pine cone look. And on the inside of mine, of this one, I just have kind of like a country quilt look. I have the music note washi from the Starlight Kit. And then it's all ready to go. So this is my album and this is what I'll be using. This is called the Folio and they are available in the shop right now. They look like this. They come nice and packaged and flat when you get them. Um, so you can either use them for quick storage if you have inserts that you really wanna organize and store. These are inexpensive to grab and just store a whole bunch of inserts and get them all organized on a shelf. Or you can take it another step and cover it with a napkin or rice paper. Um, so there you have it, friends. Um, I've seen a lot of beautiful projects with rice paper, and so um, if you make one, um, share it out. I love to see what people make with them. All right, so that is that. For my inserts, I'm going to use, so this is a Starlight Kit, and I always tend to do two, um, just because I have a lot of fun. Usually I'll set up one for the creative team and to photograph and pretty and then I usually do one where I just experiment a lot because um, I don't experiment too much in the ones that I you know I'm going to take photos of um, but I usually like to try different things and so this is kind of my experiment book and then I also have a black and gold pocket folder um, they're also in the shop from Echo Park and then this is an Echo Park two set it looks like this you get two of these books two blank inserts i don't think i'm going to use this one i like this one this plaid i think that looks really good kind of together with the wood grain so this is going to be kind of my setup in the book so let me show you what that would look like 
and I'm going to be doing setup videos and tutorials all month long. And I'll show you the end project and what was done at the end. So I have this one. Well, I accidentally got some Mod Podge on the string, so when I do the tutorial and show you how to do it, I'm going to show you how to avoid getting it on the strings. This was my first time um, doing a napkin album, so I learned a few things and I'll pass on those learnings to you guys. Actually, I think I want to put this last. It's my experiment book and then I'm going to put my folder right here. All right? So I have my Starlight. Most of the ephemera in the Starlight is not Christmas related. Um, this is the only thing. This uh, VW bug with some gifts and I think there is a deer. Um, maybe like that. And that's really it. Everything else, if you don't want to use it for Christmas, you want to use it for winter journaling. It's um, very everyday. Uh, but if you did want to use it for Christmas journaling, there's a lot of plain pieces in there that are perfect for layering and stacking. And so that's that. And then I've got this blank journal. I'm going to really journal journal in here. I'll probably journal and stamp in this one. I'll probably put ticket stubs and um, not sure what else in here. Um, any programs that we go see, any plays. Um, so that's ready for that. And then of course this is my experiment album. So, and aren't these backgrounds just lovely? They're so lovely. You can journal anything in them, but I think they'll make a back, nice backdrop for winter journaling and Christmas journaling. All right, so that's what that looks like. Um, and my Christmas journal is all, all ready to go. So what will I be using in my journal? Okay, so I've got some of the add-on paper. Um, I have a little stack here. Usually after I pack kits and everything, there's a few stragglers. And so here's the stragglers. Here's my little stack. And I usually take these and make tags and do different things. So I have these and this is the B side. So we have black and white, stars and red. And then we have some more softer, you know, green, turquoise, um, silver. So this kit is black and white, silver and gold, and then it has a few little hints of red. So that's where that red paper comes in. And then also in the pack that I've lost. Um, hmm. Oh, I think it's in here, maybe? Okay. And in here, there's a couple little red things to kind of um, give it like a pop of red. All right. So I have the add-on paper from the Starlight Kit. And here is the Starlight Kit. I did a full reveal video, so if you want to see all the fine details of that kit, um, go back a video or two and look at the full reveal for Starlight. But I'll also be using stickers. I've used so many of these. I think, I think this is my third sheet I'm on. Because these little pieces are meant to have little tuck places and layers. Um, just a little pop of interest or you can use them as bullets to journal like if you want to make a list you can use the stars as a list so this has um, red and blue bluish turquoise stars and has four deer magic and then these beautiful um, greenery so I love that so I'll be using a lot of these stickers I'll be using the ephemera um, and I'm not going to go through all of it, but I will open up the pack here. So last month in the um, P13 kit, this little tag was left over, and I just thought it looked like Christmas greenery or mistletoe, so I pulled it out. And then here's the Starlight kit. You get some more, um, it kind of looks like a mercantile. Even though that says 25 cents, you know, you can use, and this says 25, even if you don't celebrate Christmas, um, you can use it in other ways. You can use it as a ephemera for layering. So there's a lot of big pieces in this one um, that can get tucked into a journal pocket. And if you have the flip out die, 
they, they all fit in this pocket right here. So I size this ephemera to be able to be put in the pocket here. So if you have this die, all of these pieces fit in it. I love this, oh dear, what a year. <laughs> it makes me giggle. All right, um, here's a little tag. Here are some more tags. And again, look how cute. I'm going to um, be using this a lot, this little pocket. So I'm gonna cut out a ton of little pockets to go in the books so I can tuck in my journaling. Here's a larger piece of that greenery. Um, camera, our life right here. It's a few modern pieces. There's a few vintage pieces. So it's just kind of a good rounded little kit. Tell me a story. Here's the other piece I said that was Christmas. So you get the little VW bug. Did I already? Oh, you know, I took it out. It's because it's on my, um, it's on my book. So you saw it on the front of my book. Here it is. This one right here. So this piece is kind of a nod to Christmas with gifts, or at least gift giving holiday and this little deer. Everything else in there, um, in this kit, is just kind of a nice uh, background that can be used for holiday or winter journaling. It's not super Christmassy. I try not to do anything too um, deeply seasonal so you can customize it however you would like. Right, and then there's this beautiful little wood grain, um, silver and gold, turquoise and red with gold flowers, sequin mix. I'm going to be making a vellum pocket with that. That's going to be a lot of fun. Um, here's my vellum to do it with, or maybe a vellum page. I'm not sure yet. I've got plans. I've got plans. And then I pulled these um, out of the till stacks I am sold out of those so I don't have any more in shop um, but I did and so this came from the 49 and market till stacks these blue colors but these came from the um, in the leaves so if you bought that for fall I may have a couple left in the fall shop it has these beautiful background pieces um, that are great for layering and journaling. So I'm going to be using some 49 and market ephemera bits. Oh, look, I'm sorry, here they, here they are. Um, looks like, it looks like these came from the teal one, but these came from this one. So these blue and white pieces and some of the frames and tags came from this Art Options Holiday Wishes Ephemera Bits. I do have that in shop. I'll be using a lot of these. And let me show you what that looks like. They're just gorgeous. They're gorgeous. It's got lots of snowy trees for little scenes. I love these to layer. And I love these to make little transparencies. You just put like a little clear and then fill it with sequins or something like that. I have something coming up in Q1 that you can use. It's a die, and you'll be able to um, use that die. It'll have some tuck spots. I'm excited to share that with you. It's on its way to me. So as soon as I get it, I'll share with you. I love these. Look how cute. And you can do these in little tuck spots. Um, you can. A lot of these pieces like fit in this little pocket, this page pocket that I have. So I'm excited about that. Look at these. This little notebook. These are just beautiful little layering pieces. You can make tags. Um, I like that they have all the different colors. I like that it's kind of modern, but it's kind of vintage. I'm a little bit of both. I'm not super vintagey, like brown and whatever. I like a nice crisp white um, cardstock. I'm not into ivory or whatnot, but um, I love that these are a nod to vintage and modern kind of at the same time. I just think that it, this is really pretty and well done. So got this all in shop. If you watched my videos last month, you know that I really enjoyed that little red barn from P13. Um, and I still have some in shop and some winter wonderland and some round tags with the with the barn. So if you want to pick that up, and that's pretty too. This doesn't fit in the journals because it's too wide. But um, there's a smaller one that there's two. This one and a smaller one. I use the smaller one 
this one would have to get cut in half and maybe um, I've got an idea for this one so you could cut it in half and tuck it here cut it there and then you take the other piece and you put it there and then it kind of looks like a gatefold right so that's that's the idea I did that in the fall um, as an experiment I enjoy that that's probably how I'm going to use this piece and all of these smaller pieces fit on the journal and on the pages nice and pretty so this is a really great option if you like ephemera if you like little tuck cards um, this is a great set to have okay so that and that's why I put <laughs> three journals in here because I plan on using all of the things all of the things okay so the stamp that comes with um, Starlight is definition, so it's story. Um, I can't read. I'm half blind. Let's see. Joy, celebration, gift. i got to take this out to see what it is. Um, home. Okay, so this one says home, and it's upside down. That's why I can't read it. Okay, so home. Story, home, joy, and celebration, gift. I picked shorter words like gift, joy, home, story. Um, celebration, well, that's not a short word, it's a long word, but um, celebration could be for birthdays, could be for weddings, it can be any for any occasion. So when I de designed these stamps, I designed them with longevity in mind. Like how can you get the most of your stamps? How can you reuse them over and over and over? Um, I kind of, when it comes to storing things, I'm a minimalist. I don't like to have, you know, tons and tons and tons. So I try to design where you can use these over and over and over again, and they're not faddish. So celebration can be used all year long. Gift can be used for birthdays, for holidays, for gift giving, and then home and story, right? You can use those all the time. And the idea is to stamp like home out of this alpha and then you can stamp underneath this definition underneath home. Um, I'm going to make a bunch of tags with this set together. So I'm going to use the Alex Alpha and the um, Starlight Kit Stamp, which I think is called Definitions. It might be Winter Definitions or I can't remember what I called it. I will link it up whenever I remember what it is that I called this. Um, and I will be using these two to make tons of tags. So I'm going to be using that. And if you want to pick up these items, they are on the shop right now. So you pick them up and follow along with me. I'll be doing tons of tutorials. I'll be making all of these books. I'll be journaling. I'll be stamping all month long. So if you want to follow along, pick up what resonates with you. Okay, I'm also going to use this new Vicki Booten Evergreen and Holly. I thought it was beautiful. I'm not going to open it up, but it's got like the guest tickets and it's a little bit of vintage and modern. I just I love that look. And since Starlight, my kit, um, my brand didn't really come with Christmas because I'm trying to, you know, um, keep this everyday notebooking, everyday journaling that you can mix and match. I do celebrate Christmas, so I picked up some that had some traditional Christmas sayings, and that is in this pack, so I love that. The browns and the crafts, I think that coordinates really well with this. And I also have the Holiday Wishes Art Options stamp by 49 and Market as well. I love to put these, when I use this little tap, this pocket, I put tons of things in it so I'll put like tags like this and then you'll also see some of the ephemera cards and I just stuff a bunch of things in the pockets I love doing that um, I need a lots of tags I love tags there's my favorite barn poinsettia there's the red truck I'm not sure anybody will ever get tired of seeing that red truck I just think that red truck is cute um, and the deer this deer is my favorite I love that and then you get these four and these are all perfect to go in that little pocket so like I said I'll be using that pocket all throughout my journals 
that's in the Christmas shop. And then I have a couple little bit more modern things. So this has more pink in it. Um, and this is more like cityscape. And um, if you live in a snowy climate, I don't. Um, I live in Florida, so it really doesn't get very cold here. But this one has a lot of mittens and snow and snowflakes. Um, it's the Mittens and Mistletoe by Crate Paper. And I really love the little animals, the little woodland animals. So you could always stick any of these little bitty puffy stickers anywhere to get like a little extra decoration, a little bit embellishment. And I think all of these go really well. So even though, you know, I think you could still layer some of these little bitty items depending on your photos and what you're doing. I think it still coordinates really well. So these puffy stickers are amazing. And then this busy sidewalk. So here is that. Uh, most of them are clear vinyl, so you don't see the edges. So these are perfect for layering as well. I love this one, this little... I can smell that. I can smell that cinnamon and citrus. You know, shopping gift giving, trees. I just think this is really cute. I love the cityscape here. You know, here's a bunch of snow activities. We don't do that maybe one day. And I love the little cab and the little rows of houses. Got some traditional stickers. Have some titles. And I love that these fit on the journal. So, you know, the journal travel notebooks, I mean, it just, they fit really nicely. They're not too big. They're perfect titles um, for journals. Here's some cute little teeny tiny tags to and from. And then some candy canes, um, gingerbread. I love that we have a Santa. We also have the Santa, love it. Good representation there, good diversity and then some alphabet. All right, so I'll be using that. And I think that's it. Oh, I got one more thing, and the die. I popped up these cute cottage garden papers. I'm working on um, some things for Q1 that are kind of some foundation items that I'll be releasing. And in the interim, um, I bought these little papers from a shop I like supporting um, small businesses and small shops. So I bought these, I, they're like really thin and they're just perfect for layering. I try not to add too much bulk to my albums, but that doesn't always work because I want to do all the things. Um, so sometimes these like really thin papers are helpful in keeping the book bulk down. And I just think they're cute little great things to tuck or stamp. Um, I can see myself stamping all over these and um, using them to layer. So I do have those. They're called Cottage Garden Papers and they'll be in the shop. They'll be in the Christmas shop and they'll also be in the embellishment section. I will be using those and I'm not sure where my washi got off to but I have some Music Note black and white washi. I'll be using that as well. It looks like this right here. And this music is Little Jack Frost and it is one of the pages in the book. See Little Jack Frost? And that's what the washi is. Um, and it's just black and white music notes, but that is what the song is. I've never heard that song. Um, I just thought it would be a cute nod to winter. And there you have it, friends. So this is what I'll be using. Grab some supplies and follow along. Um, I'll be releasing a bunch of tutorials. I'm going to do some tags, some tag stamping, layering. I'm going to use this die. Um, and then I'm going to be doing some journaling. So, oh, and then I'm going to also cover this with uh, this napkin. I'm going to do t a tutorial on that. So stay tuned. It's all coming up. All of these videos will get dropped starting the 1st of December. And I hope you grab some su supplies and join me. All right, friends. Bye.